two by three, and what we need from you are two unconventional taco toppings. <laughs> Say them. Pepperoni. Say Pepperoni and peanut butter. That's what I said. <laughs> Um, uh, triple time. Um, cleaning supplies. Uh, pine. Uh, Seattle. Uh, uh, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> You're packed up! Yes, I'm packed. You don't mind if I check right through, huh? No, go for it. Check, right. check my bag. We'll do it. It's perfectly fine. All the proper supplies, the tools that I need, nothing that's breaking regulation. Don't have any oil. No oil? You can't go on the trip. Sorry, bud. I'm what? Very sorry. Why do I need oil? <laughs> <laughs> All right, chefs, are we ready for our camping outing? <laughs> Everyone have their pans? Everyone have their seasoning? Everyone have their oils? I don't, <laughs> I, I don't have no oils. <laughs> Camp cooks. Yeah. Uh, what are we supposed to bring with us camping? <laughs> oil! That's right, oil. <laughs> All your essential oils. The olive oil, the vegetable oil, peanut oil. I our new... cooking spray. Does that count for anything? <laughs> is it oil? <laughs> no. Then does it fall into the regulatory oil that we need? <laughs> no. Looks like our camper here won't be going camping. <laughs> I'm going to go wait in the bus. Chef, I, I gotta go to Camp Cook. Do you have someone you can call? A mother, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a chef somewhere? <laughs> sure, but I don't think they can make it out here before we get on the bus and leave. Well, could they drive you out to the wilderness? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hey, mom slash sous chef. <laughs> you can call me Joanne. I think we're <laughs> Uh, I'll just call you mom. <laughs> I keep pushing the first name. I think you're ready for it. Uh, <laughs> okay, Joanne. Look, I need you to drive me to Camp Cook. All right? I forgot my oil. All of it. <laughs> you forgot your oil? Yes. I, I paid so much for this trip. I know you paid so much for this trip, Mom. And I all right, all right, I'm driving over now, but I'm very upset with you. Very, very upset. Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> All the fish died. Oh my God. All of them. I told you we should have taken them out of the lake. I knew, I knew this was going to happen. No, 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 I don't think it's that. You know, correlation, not causation. <laughs> Maybe there's some other reason. It's only a hypothesis that they need water. That's true, it is a theory, like evolution. No one's proven it yet. <laughs> well, how about this time? You know what? Let's not put them, you know, completely out of the water. Let's have a finish. Okay. Let's get a. I got a water bottle. We can start with that. Sure, sure. <laughs> It looks dead. <laughs> they expired really quick. Hmm. You know, when I bought this large plot of land in the middle of the Mojave Desert, planning to build a fish farm, I may not have thought through the water situation completely. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you still have a try, you know, maybe uh, putting it in a really humid air. Oh, yeah. You know that air conditioning guy still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanna call him up? Yeah, Jerry? Yeah, call yeah, up Jerry. See if you can get some nice air conditioning in here. I'm sure they love air conditioning. They're fish. Hey, Jerry! Yeah! <laughs> You're the air conditioning guy, yeah? You do the air conditioning, right? Yeah, I've got air conditioners. Well, look. <laughs> I want you to make this arid landscape humid as hell. All right. I want you to get over here. Maybe not as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Really intuitive. I like it. So it's both uh, air 
conditioner and a humidifier. Yep. So it takes all the water out of the air and then puts it back. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> Good. I'm sure the fish will love that. <laughs> so do we just, do we put the fish on it, in it? What do we do? Uh, I don't know, in a little vent maybe? All right. <laughs> I didn't really design it for fish to be put in the vent. <laughs> I ain't got fish guts at <laughs> Oh, look at that, though. That's, That's like a puree. <laughs> Is it liquidy? What if we put that on the other fish? That's the American, except for there was this one little bit in the middle we were a little confused by. It was stream of numbers and then the word bread, just right in the center. <laughs> we weren't sure, is it the word bread or is it just B-R-E-A-D? Do they represent numbers? I know you have mathematicians, you have some of those numbers, yes, yes, that are yes, letters. Yes. The best letters, assistants letters, in the numbers. world. The best assistants. Uh, well, uh, bread, uh, bread is the new figure. We talk about pie all the time. <laughs> That makes a lot of sense to me. Baked goods, mathematics, they seem interchangeable. So, <laughs> so that's what that bread. <laughs> Every high school in America. Bread, bread, bread. Teacher, 
Can I have some bread? Well, can you answer the question? <laughs> two, two buns plus two buns equals four buns. Okay. <laughs> good, good. But now, what is four buns minus two buns? <laughs> Half a bread. <laughs> Thank you, we are now Taco 2x3!